In this tutorial, we'll show how to generate a binomial distribution where the binomial distribution is a discrete function where the function is equal to the combination of n things taken x at a time times p to the x times the quantity 1 minus p to the n minus x where n is the number of trials, x is the number of successes, and p is the probability of success. The way we'll implement the binomial probability distribution on the using the Maple software package is we'll first invoke the statistics package by typing with statistics right paren colon then we'll define the random variable x colon equals and then we'll type random variable then the random variable we're going to select is the binomial and we want the first parameter to binomial is the number of trials and we want three of those and we're going to select a probability of success of 0.5 so then we'll type a colon after our two right parens but then we're going to generate each of the values of x by using a loop so we'll type 4i from 0 to 3 do then we're going to type shift enter and then we're going to invoke the probability function so probability capital F for function the first parameter is the random variable which refers to the binomial distribution x the next parameter comma is i the variable we're using in our loop and then we'll type semicolon we'll go shift enter and then we'll type the end of the loop and do and there we see the values generated for our probability function which is a binomial probability function the first value would correspond to the value when i is zero so the probability of zero successes is 0.125 the probability of one success would be 0.375 the probability of two successes would be 0.375 and the probability of three successes would be 0.125 so there we have the way we would implement the binomial probability function using maple now if we want to convert the values of our probability function as I goes from 0 to 3 into fractions we could select the values in our loop I'll right click and copy then I'll position the cursor on the execution symbol right click and paste and then we'll go ahead and select shift enter and then I'll put the cursor at that position and type shift enter so we have everything on separate lines and then I'm going to enclose the probability function xi I'm going to give that as a parameter to a function called convert so we'll type in lowercase c-o-n-v-e-r-t left paren so that 
the probability function is going to be the first parameter to convert. Then the second parameter, so I'll click after the left paren x comma i, the second parameter will be what we're going to convert it to, so that will be rational. And then the third parameter will be exact, so that we get an exact value. And then we need to move our cursor down to the end do and type a semicolon. And then we're ready to execute that line. So if we hit the exclamation mark, that will execute all selected groups. So right now the group we're, that's in selection would be between these two delimiters here. So if we click that, then we see the fractional equivalence of the point 0.125 always 1 eighths, the point 0.375 is 3 eighths, and so on. So that's how we can convert our decimal values into fractional equivalents using Maple.